Hey everybody! I have been hearing the best news. I have been hearing that you guys are starting or have already started going back to school, but you're doing it online with your teachers, your parents are helping you, and you are getting back into school. So, as we think about getting back into school, and we are talking about giving this week because Jesus taught about giving and Jesus was the greatest teacher ever, and we love Jesus, and because we love Jesus so much, we want to follow him and obey him. So, there's something that I want to talk to you today about giving. Okay, and this is going to apply to your school today. You can do it all day long while you're doing school, while you're eating lunch, while you're playing outside, because I hope you go outside today because it's gorgeous out here. So here's what I want you to think about. Imagine that I was going to give you a gift and I brought this gorgeous blue shiny bag and it was going to be a gift just for you. And do you want to guess what's in it? It's something that you like. It's something that I like. It's something that we eat. It's something that our parents don't like for us to eat often. So what if I brought it to you today and I pulled it out of this bag and I said, I'm going to give you something. I am giving this to you. This is from me. And you can have it. You can have all of it. Are you ready to see what it is? <laughs> Here it comes. Are you ready? It's candy. It is candy for you to eat. Now, I want you to look at this candy. Doesn't that look yummy? Now, I'm sorry I accidentally chewed on it a little bit, put it back in the wrapper. And then I dropped it on the ground a little bit, and I got some mud on it and some dirt. Looks like there's a piece of grass in it. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's a rock in it. Okay, I'm sorry. But it's for you. I want you to have it. It's my candy. Okay? <laughs> what would you say if I brought this piece of candy to you? Oh, our candy's falling apart. What would you say if I brought it to you? Would you eat it? If it had already been in my mouth, if it had grass and dirt on the ground, you wouldn't want it, would you? Would I be giving you my best? Would I be giving you my first and my best to you something so special? Or would I be giving you my leftovers? Mm. Now, imagine, okay, pretend like maybe I didn't do that, but instead, I brought you this. Ha, ha, ha. What is this? This is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so there's your Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. It's perfect. It's in the wrapper. It's ready for you to eat. Would you want to receive this gift? Oh, yeah, you would, right? Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about giving, not to others, but giving to God. And when we give to God, we want to give our very, very best. We want to give, give it our all. We want to give him what's most important to us. Remember the lady that gave those two coins? She gave all she had. We want to give our best. We don't want to just bring our sloppy seconds and say, Here, God, I found this. Maybe you could have this. Or, Here, God, I don't really want it. You could have this. No, we want to give God our best. So go get your Bible right now. Turn to Colossians. It's in the New Testament. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, okay? And I want you to turn to chapter 3, verse 23, and listen, read with me, and listen as I read it out loud, okay? Colossians 3, 23, whatever you do, whatever, okay, let's think about it. What are you going to do today? You're probably going to read. You're probably going to do some math. If you're lucky, you might get to do some science. You might get to play outside. What else are you going to do today? You're going to eat, right? Whatever you do. This means in every single thing you do. What does it say? Whatever you do, work. Mm, it doesn't say be lazy. 
It doesn't say, oh, I'm just going to read the thing. No. It says work. And how do we work? It says work heartily. Heartily. If you look in there, you see the word heart. That means you work with all you've got. You give it your very best. You go for it. You work with all your heart. Yes. Okay. So whatever we do, when we eat, we're going to eat with all of our heart. When we read, we're going to read with all of our heart. When we do math, we're going to do it with all of our heart, with everything that we've got, right? Listen, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. So when you, whatever you do today, you're going to work heartily at it like you're doing it for God. Don't even say like you're doing it for God. Do it for God. Everything you do today, you're going to work hard and you're going to do it for God. And that means even when your mom says, hey, it's time to take out a piece of paper. I'm going to work hard at this. I'm going to get the best piece of paper. Yes, because I'm working for God. I'm working for God. Yes. And then when she says, okay, I want you to write your name on it. You're going to take your pen and you're going to write your name. Oh, yes. You're going to write it on there the very best you can because you're working for God. Working for God. You're giving him your absolute very, very best. You see, there were two brothers in the Bible. In Genesis chapter 4, there were two brothers in the Bible. And Genesis at the very, very beginning. And if you want to go there, okay, you can read it. But it's Genesis chapter 4 in verse 2, okay? Now, there was, remember Adam and Eve? They had two sons. One son was named Cain, and one son's name was Abel. Which name would you want, Cain, or would you want Abel? Well, the Bible says, okay, that Abel was a keeper of sheep, okay? Abel worked with the animals. We're going to play this my little sheep, okay, because I don't, it's the best one I could make. Bah, bah. So Abel took care of animals. That's how I remember. Abel, a animals. He was keeper of the sheep. Now, Cain, he worked out in the fields, and he took care of the crops. See that? Cain starts with a C. Crop starts with a C. So they both were very, they were brothers, and they were very special, but they both had different gifts. One took care of the animals. One took care of the crops. Now, they were working hard, and it was time to bring their gift to the Lord, okay? So, when Abel, the keeper of the animals, when he came to the Lord, he brought a sheep. He gave to God. And this sheep was his very, very best sheep. It was the first and the best. And God thanked Abel for that sheep, and he accepted that gift that Abel gave him. Now, Cain, when he brought his gift to God, he just found some fruit, and he just brought some fruit to God. Now, what do you notice about this fruit? Is it the best? Mm, no. Cain didn't bring his very best. So God rejected Cain's offering. Boys and girls, when we come to God, God wants your best. He wants your very best. He doesn't want your leftovers. He doesn't want your nasty candy you've already eaten. He doesn't want you to just think about him at the end of the day. He wants you to start the day with him. He doesn't want you to just say, oh... I'll just maybe mm, sort of do my best for God. No, he wants you to work heartily and give him your best. So from here on out, while we're going to school at home, while we're going to school online, until we get to go back to school, you know what we're going to do? We are going to give God our best. We, whatever we do, we are going to work heartily for God and not for me, but for God. So listen. All day long today, you are going to give God your best. So when your mom says, hey, you need to run, make your bed, you're going to say, 
giving God my best. And you're going to run in there and you're going to make your bed like you've never made it before. It is going to be the best, best, best bed making you've ever made. When your mom says, okay, take out a piece of paper and it's time to write something. You are going to take out that paper and you are going to write your very, 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 very best for God. Because you're saying, God, I want to give you my best. Okay, and do you know why we give God our best? We give God our best because he loves us. God loves us so much he sent Jesus to save us. And because he did, we want to give him our very best. Because we love God. We want to follow him and obey him. So, I want to hear you say it. Today, I am giving God my best. Giving God my best. Giving God my best. Giving God my best. Yes, and I want you to chant that all day long, all over your house. And remember, give God your best. Work heartily at whatever you do for God. Have a great day.